Welcome to Yellow Texas, and this is our team of traveling Texans. Ride shotgun with us as we visit breathtaking views. It is incredible what we can find right here in Texas. Check out heart racing attractions. Woo! And taste mouth-watering foods this great state has to offer. This is getting hot. It's all right, so bone. That's why I know it's good. This is delicious. Why, you ask? Well, to simply put it, you only live once, Texas. Hey y'all, and welcome to Yellow Texas, your one-stop shop for all the places to see and things to do all around the Lone Star State. I'm your host, Stacey, and in this episode, come on and hitch a ride with us as we take a trip across the South Texas area. We'll go medieval with some competitive board games, all while being played in costume. Plus, one of our hosts was brave enough to compete in a pepper eating contest during Laredo's annual Jalapeno Festival. I know there's so much variety, you have to admit, this state is one happening place, and our next destination is no exception. Promising a party so big and entertaining, it can cater the entire south of Texas. So what do you say, y'all? Ready for some big Texas fun? Well, come with us to Selma. Welcome to Big Texas Fun, a three-day event hosted right outside San Antonio City Limits. This texas size festival is in its second year, and our resident tech expert, JB Saceda, enjoyed all the fun and games last year. But this time, a whole new crew was ready to explore. All right, so when you think of fairs, what normally comes to mind? Maybe some carnival rides, or fried food, or some local entertaining acts that really want to make you dance. Now, add that all up and multiply it by 10, because everything's bigger here in Texas, of course, and with the festival named Big Texas Fun, you know it's gonna be a good time. So, let's check it out. But before we jumped right in, we met up with the festival director, Debron West, to get the lay of the land. Year two of Big Texas Fun is even bigger. We have uh, 10,000 pounds of crawfish we cooked last year. This year, our goal is between 15 and 20, and I'm hoping for 20,000. Wow. We upped the barbecue cook-off to $7,500 worth of prize money. But now that it is growing and expanding, we'd like to go all over Texas. And we're starting at Selma with the Halloween boil and brew yeah. this October. Very cool. And so now you are taking the poll on where y'all should go to next, eh? Yes, so we want to hear from your fans what city yeah. we should bring Big Texas Fun to. Perfect. We're about to hit the ground running. So what should we do first? What are some of the fan favorites? Fan favorites, mobile escape room, the hypnotist show. Definitely check out the uh, tribute bands. Okay. We've got great ones tonight and eat some crawfish. Big Texas fun gets bigger and better year after year. From the rides to the games, and even a petting zoo, there was so much to be seen. And with so many options, where to begin? How about the crawfish eating contest? All right, so unfortunately I didn't sign up for the crawfish eating contest, but it is different from last year. Every single person here has three pounds of crawfish right in front of them, and whoever eats it the fastest Win. So I'm amazed already that people can scarf down three pounds of mud bugs, but best of luck to everyone. Let's take a look. This contest is open to the public, so anyone, no matter the age, can sign up with $250 cash on the line. If you could scarf down three pounds of crawfish within minutes, yeah, you're definitely a winner in our book. And with all that food laid out in front of us, we had to indulge a little ourselves. Check this out. I got fried Oreos, fried cookie dough. Yeah, you heard that right. They got uh, fried cheesecake and fried peanut butter and jelly. Oh, mine. I'm gonna do four corn dogs and a lemonade, please. I am gonna eat all of this and not share with anyone. 
event at Texas Event wouldn't be complete without some barbecue. And lucky for us, we got a taste of the winning plate. Oh my god, yeah. Man, that's good. Is it tender? Oh my goodness, that's so good. <laughs> oh my god. Big Texas fun provides thrills the whole family can enjoy, from spectacular rides to classic fair games. Oh! Four. Got a winner. Winner! I've never won anything in my life! To obscure attractions you wouldn't normally see at a carnival. This is our two minute mini escape room game. So it's got a great introduction to the escape room world. Right. So in here, we're gonna have you sit on that big red button. Okay. It's called the hot seat. You cannot let go of that button. You're gonna use these red and green lights on the side to start working our circuit breaker puzzle button over here. Okay. Once you get all that figured out, that light's gonna go from red to green inside there. That box is gonna open up automatically. You're gonna find cables inside there. You're gonna plug those cables in all over the room. If you do that in under two minutes, you're gonna win the game. Ah! Super easy, right? <laughs> and go. and entertaining music acts that get the crowd rocking. Aerosmith tribute band was definitely the cherry on top of our day and at the Yellow Texas stage it was so cool to see our name out there so thank you for joining along here at Big Texas Fun and make sure to mark on your calendars to come out here in the fall and hey who knows maybe Big Texas Fun may be coming to a city near you we'll see you out there peace find out where the biggest family event in South Texas is heading to next by visiting bigtxfun.com for updates Here's a list of Lone Star events coming up. Mark your calendars for April 3rd for four days. days. Head on over to Uvalde to enjoy this tradition by walking the same trails and tracks as our Texas ancestors. Next on the show, we're dressing up and getting our imagination involved in this one. See what kind of fantastic competition awaits us when Yellow Texas returns. Hey y'all and welcome back to Yellow Texas. All right, lords and ladies, for this part of the show, we are heading back to ye olden times. There's a game store in San Antonio that wants their Renaissance Fair influenced shop to be part of the visitor experience. So sharpen your swords, brandish your shields, and don your armor because we're about to do a little fantasy role playing at Night's Watch Games. Take it away, Kyle. Hey y'all, I'm here at Nightwatch Games where board games have evolved into something a little bit more fantastic. As you can see, everything is decorated like the medieval times. So I'm gonna look around the shop and see what fantasy things that I could find. Before we explore this enchanting shop, we sat down with the owners to talk a little bit more about Nightwatch Games. So Nightwatch Games was a idea that really came to us out of the blue. Uh, we were in the military, I was deployed to Africa, Brenda was in Germany holding down the homestead and when we got out of the army, the big question was what to do with our time and our lives and the things that we've done. And it was actually Brenda's idea to open up the game store that we sort of talked about over coffee. So this is the kind of place that you can show up dressed however you want. Basically, you could be like a knight or do some kind of class playing. Is that something that you all do? Like one day just show up and you're just like a knight and you're just walking around like it's no big deal? Yeah, we encourage it actually. <laughs> yeah, well there's, there's a couple of things happening in the store. Uh, it's a tournament center, so it's easy to ramp up the intensity of the experience when you're in a tournament setting. And we figured that if people showed up to the tournament table in costume, 
you can't get mad at that. Right. There's no way to get mad at the guy across the table beating you in a game if he's dressed up like a wizard. You Fully just, committed yeah, to his role, to just, his, his, yeah. you just his have to dark laugh. craft. So I want to find a game for me, tailor it towards my taste, but first I really want to dress up to get into the mood Okay. Of this place, so yep. can can I have something Let's tailored fit it. before I find a game sure. that's tailored for me? Yeah. All right. Perfect. Let's All go. right. This is what we call the Night Watch Games Armory where we sell medieval and Renaissance clothing, but this is where you can buy all sorts of outfits for Renaissance fairs, uh, LARPing, or cosplay. Well, I want this experience to be as medieval, authentic as possible. So make me look cool. All right. Cool. I'm pretty old awesome. for a page or a squire, but we right. will make this happen. Okay. Am I enjoying myself? Sorta. Besides the fact that Nightwatch Games specializes in a variety of board, card, and role-playing games, they also have two enclosed game rooms for private gatherings with family and friends. We have private rooms that we rent at six hours at a time ah, from 12 to ooh, 6. Oh, spooky. Yep, 6 to midnight. Uh, and we charge, uh, this would be $50 for those six hours. And the question is, why do we charge for the room? Well, there's a whole bunch of technologies in the room that give you that immersive gaming experience that you won't find anywhere else. Uh, one is we have dedicated air conditioners for the room so that you're going to stay cool and comfortable. Ooh. One of the things I'd like to showcase is the lights. Okay, let's do it. Alexa, turn the lights blue. So you can really make the room look the scene that you want in your gaming. I embarked and survived on this hero's journey here at Nightwatch Games, and I've decided to lay down my arms because I am a, a weary traveler, and to play some games here at the Grand Hall. Every good game starts with a handshake. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Best All of right. luck to you. So today we are learning Santorini. So in this game, uh, you are a great god. You knew that already, oh, yeah? Oh, of course. Okay, then. What can I and say? And you are controlling these two little workers. So on your turn, you take one of your workers, you move, then build. Okay. Those are your actions. You do them over and over every turn. That's all you do, and it's a strategy game. It is a strategy game. It's, sort of... it's like you can mess with your opponent a little bit. <laughs> and knock off turn. all the pieces. <laughs> Apollo <laughs> descending from the heavens to bless this game. You really are embracing this nerd thing. I like it. Got me. Mm. You did. You just won. Very impressed. Thank you. Good job. Oh. I am the god of Santorini. 1-0 <laughs> undefeated master of games, Kyle Spieshock. <laughs> I came, I saw, and I conquered board games. Special thanks to the Mulgrews and of course, Night Watch Games for hosting Yolo Texas here at their store. It's more than just a game store, it's a whole fantasy experience. Want to conjure up your own unique gaming experience? Visit nightswatchgames.com for more information on booking and events. Are you a fan of spicy foods? Well, so is Laredo, Texas. That's where we're heading next for their annual Jalapeno Festival. After this break. Hey y'all, and welcome back to Yellow Texas. All right, beware, it is about to get real hot in here because every year, Laredo hosts a jalapeno festival, a celebration made up of one of our favorite peppers. But besides the spicy foods, this festival is a time for community, dancing, gritos, and a competitive contest that will have your mouth on fire. See what we're talking about when we send Yellow Texas co-host Ariel to Laredo for their annual jalapeno festival. Hey y'all, we are out here in Laredo for the Jalapeno Festival. For nearly 40 years, this festival has been a staple in the city with plenty of music, food, and spicy eats. So let's go celebrate the Jalapeno.
One of the most popular attractions in Laredo is the annual Washington's Birthday Celebration. It's the oldest celebration in the U.S. honoring our first president. The Washington's Birthday Celebration Association, along with the city of Laredo, hosts numerous events during the day's long festivity. And one of the most popular events, the Jalapeno Festival. This two-day festival features live music, delicious food, and the hottest 15 minutes of the year during the La Costeña Jalapeno Eating Contest. But before we got the party started, we met up with Jaime Fuentes, chairperson of this spicy event. 47 years ago, people decided they needed another party to add to the WBCA festivities, so the Jalapeno Festival was born. But you can't say Jalapeno Festival without saying La Costeña. Yeah. La Costeña has been our title sponsor for many years, and we really appreciate all the support that they've given us. Without La Costeña, it would be almost impossible to put this together. This is my first time at the festival. What should I be expecting? What you should be expecting is a lot of great food. There's amazing food vendors here. Do you have any specific places I should try out? Anytime you go to any kind of festival like this, you always got to get the fancy lemonade. You always got to make sure you get this is a little potato thing it's all spiraled up on a stick. Okay. I mean, also the music that we bring, we've decided to cater to the people of Laredo, give them what they want, what they deserve and they, they request. So I signed up to do this jalapeno eating contest. That's the face everybody's giving me. So I was gonna ask you for some like tips or tricks or what do you think I should do? I I would pray. Pray? Okay, got that down. <laughs> Uh, we have competitive eaters and we have amateur divisions. Competitive eaters can do their thing while the local people of Laredo and anybody that wants to participate from surrounding cities. But no, I mean, the people that, that partake in this are just amazing. Thank you so much for having us out here. I'm excited. We love the city of Laredo and we want to do whatever we can to do this for the people. of things to do, see, and eat, we decided we'd try some of the local cuisine to get warmed up before the jalapeno eating contest. I'm gonna get a gordita. Food item number one here at the jalapeno festival, the gordita de picadillo. That's what I call a gordita. Hi. Can I get the potato on a stick? Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. All right, let's put some salsa on this. Oh, perfect. I might like this more than I like turkey legs. Ooh, that is spicy. right where you are. More from the Jalapeno Festival in Laredo after the break. Hey y'all and welcome back to the show where Ariel is showing us around the annual Jalapeno Festival in Laredo, Texas. Y'all, the heat levels keep rising here at the Jalapeno Festival. Next on our adventure, I met up with someone who knows Laredo like the back of her hand. We, we try to be a resource for all the people that are traveling to Laredo, that are planning to travel to Laredo. So every time that we find somebody that might be from out of town, we're happy to give them all the information. All right, well, I'm from out of town. Give me all the information. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. We're in the middle of uh, Washington's birthday celebration. This is our biggest celebration of the year. And so it's 34, 37 days of events. And this is the biggest celebration, which is a Jalapeno Festival. There's two days, there's different bands, there's different stages. I'm excited, I'm very excited. I'm already loving Laredo. I'm so glad. And for anybody that wants to visit us, please go to our website, visitlaredo.com, and join us. And if you're here in our city, just uh, use our hashtag, Hola Laredo. So we can follow your adventures here in our wonderful community. I also signed up for the jalapeno eating contest. Okay. That's the second time somebody's <laughs> made that big. Do you have any tips, any suggestions, recommendations, something to get me through it? Uh, just try to eat them as fast as you can. Okay. And then just, I don't know. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> We are getting closer to the jalapeno eating contest, so for some advice, I had the chance to chat with some professional eaters in attendance. How many did you eat last year? I'm not sure, like 150 or 60 or something like that. I'll be lucky if I get one. Yeah, one. <laughs> well, I'm going for three, but I don't know, I've never done this before. Think about ice cream. 
is my first time. What should I what should I think about? What should I be doing? Don't stand next to anybody who looks like they're gonna get sick. Chew them up as well as you can. Use your water, don't choke. Just do the best you can. If you feel like you're done, be done. All right, I've eaten an entire pie. I've climbed a 60-foot rock, and now I'm about to eat jalapenos in a jalapeno I eating eat. contest. Contestants, are you ready? Three, two, one, and go! This is that bad. Are you done? No. And we couldn't leave without congratulating the winner. How many did you eat? A uh, 310. I ate 25 and I took your advice. Good advice. I've come back a couple years for the punishment, but you know what? It's worth it. it it's fun coming down here. Thank you so much to everyone here in Laredo for being so amazing. I'm going to hang out with the crowd and enjoy some music. I'll see y'all later. Like happenings with a spicy kick? We'll visit the website below for more fiery information about next year's festival. All right, y'all, we hope you enjoyed yourselves here today. That is the end of our show. If you happen to miss a previous episode, all you gotta do is visit our website at yolotx.com for past adventures. And hey, while you're at it, follow us on our social media pages as well. Until next week, remember it is a big world, so get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. We'll see you out there. Thank you.